Welcome to our OnlyWire platform demo. Before we get started, I'll show you the plans and pricing for OnlyWire Pro and OnlyWire Enterprise. Here's a look at our Pro and Enterprise plans. Pro is our single user solution, and Enterprise is our multi user solution. So if you're submitting content on behalf of multiple clients or brands, Enterprise is a solution for you. With Enterprise, you have access to upgraded support, unlimited users, and branded submissions. Now I'll show you pricing for both Pro and Enterprise. Here's the pricing plan for OnlyWire Pro and the fees for each submission level. CAPTCHA Solver is included in this plan. Some networks require you to input CAPTCHA letters and numbers before submitting content. With CAPTCHA Solver, we input that CAPTCHA for you. This pricing includes the one user account, user analytics, email support, and reporting and analytics. Here's the pricing for OnlyWire Enterprise and the fees for each submission level. CAPTCHA Solver is also included in Enterprise. This pricing includes unlimited user accounts, CAPTCHA Solver, email and phone support, admin tools, and reporting and analytics. As we go through the demo, I'll point out the differences between Pro and Enterprise. Once you log in, you'll see your dashboard. Here's your account overview. You can see which plan you're on, how many networks you've signed up for, and you can upgrade your account from here as well. Here's your most recent submission history. If you need any help, we have some links to our support guides here. We also have links to some of our tools, so you can learn more about them. Here we have our latest announcements. You can also find these at our blog at blog.onlywire.com. Our blog has product and service announcements, as well as articles on various topics. We'll start from the services page. Services are the social media networks that we support. This is where you enter the username and password for each of your networks. If you've entered the incorrect login or password, you'll see a red box outlining your service credentials, and it'll say incorrect login. You'll also get an email telling you to update your services page. If you're not registered for one of the networks, you can click on the icon for that network and it takes you directly to their sign-up page. So if you're not signed up for Sonico, for example, you can click on that icon and it'll take you directly to that sign-up page. Once you go there, you can create your username and password and then come back to the services page, enter that information, and click Save My Logins at the bottom of the page. Here's the submission brander at the top right corner. This allows you to create your own customized branded submission. For example, this is our Facebook OnlyWire user community page. You'll see at the bottom right corner of the post, it says, Via OnlyWire. You can customize this to say your company name here. When someone clicks on this, it'll direct them to the website of your choice. This is a great way to drive traffic to your website. To set this up, go to the submission brander page and follow the setup instructions. Once this is complete, you'll receive an app key and an app secret. Then enter your app key and app secret in the boxes and click on Save My APIs and you'll have your very own customized branded submission. This is available for Facebook, Identica, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Now I'll show you the tags page. If you use the same tags over and over again, the Tags page will allow you to save your tags. Type your tag in, press Enter, and you'll see your tag. When we submit a post, I'll show you where you can find these tags that you have saved. Now I'm going to show you how to post content. There are several ways to post content with OnlyWire. You can post content from within the OnlyWire platform, or you can use our automation tools. I'll go ahead and show you how we post content using the OnlyWire platform. This is the bookmark post page. On this page, you'll enter the title that you want to share, the web page URL. Some of the services that we support don't allow you to have a long URL. In that case, just select this box to shorten your URL. Enter the description of your post here, and you can add any tags in this box here. Remember to press the Enter button after you've typed in your tag to lock it in. Remember the tag we entered earlier on the Tags page? It appears here in this drop-down box, along with your other tags. Select the category of your post. We'll select Technology. 
and then you can select the networks you'd like to submit your post to. You can select them all, or just a few. It's up to you. Once you're ready to submit this content, just click on the orange post button. If you want to submit this post later, click on Send My Post Later to launch your scheduler. For example, if you want this post to go out next Friday, you would select that date. You can even specify the exact hour and minute that you want your post to go out. Once you've selected the time and date, just click Done and then click on the orange Post button and your post will go out at that time and date. This is the Advanced Post page. If you're submitting a post to multiple networks but you want to change the title, or description for each one, you can do this from the Advanced Post page. The fields auto-populate, and you can make any changes as you go. You can also send them out at different times. You'll see a scheduler at the bottom of each network. At the bottom of the page, you can enter your tags, select a category, select the URL shortener, and then click on the orange Post button to submit your post.